Shanda. Check your road, check your road, check your road. Ooh, we came to celebrate God. And we came to celebrate the apostle. So check your road, make sure you're on the right road. I need you to make sure you're on a turn up road. I need to make sure you're on a party road. Glory be unto God, a praise road. Glory be unto God. Cross the road with somebody and say, The God I serve is great. Find somebody else, make eye contact, and say, The God I serve is great. And if you really thought it was as great as you said it was, when you say it, something inside of you is gonna break open. Try that one more time. Look at that top. Oh, the God I serve is great. In heaven I praise, O oh God. Hear that about Shana scripture. Isaiah chapter 60, verses 1 through 7. Arise, shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, the deep darkness the people, but the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. The Gentile, Gentiles shall come to your light, the kings to the brightness of your rising. Lift up your eyes all around and see. They all gather together. They come to you. Your sons shall come from afar. Your daughters shall be nursed at your side. Then you shall see and become radiant. And your heart shall swell with joy. Because the abundance of the sea shall be turned to you. The wealth of the Gentiles shall come to you. The multitude of the camels shall cover your land, the drum there is of Midian and Ephah, all those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and incense, and they shall proclaim the praises of the Lord. Father, in your mighty name, Father, we bless your name today. Father, we exalt your name today. Father, we exalt your name today. Father, we lift your name high above all else. High above all else. By any other name, we come proclaiming the name of Jesus. We say your name. We say your name in our homes. We say your name in our cars. And this morning, oh God, we declare your name in this church. That your name shall be glorified. That your name shall be praised. That your name shall be exalted. That because of your name, sin shall be defeated. The stronghold shall be broken. The bound shall be loosed. That someone shall be delivered. That someone shall be saved. That someone shall be set free. That someone shall be changed because of your great name. Because of your great name. And we praise you in advance. And we exalt you in advance. It's in the mighty and the matchless name of Jesus. We pray. Let the body of baptized believers say amen. Amen. Shout in the room. Hey, 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 hey. Did you came to bless him today? Did you came to magnify him today? Somebody lift your shout in the room. Lift your shout in your home on your job. In the hospital, man. Lift your voices like trumpets. Oh, lift your voices like trumpets today. Keep me there. Come on, come on. Press in today with your shout. Press in today with your glory. Press in today. Give it to
to him today. Uh, we came to bless him. Uh, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. 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 Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Come on. Check your road today. See if you got some praises on your road. Come on, atmosphere shifters. Check your road today. Hey. We came to bless him today. We came to lift him up.
you come to do. I don't know what 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 you come to do. I come to clap my hands. 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 I come to give him.
praise. When we think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, our souls cry. a great place to do it. Praise him. Oh, praise him. Praise him. That's a command. Praise ye the Lord. Yes, Lord. Fill the temple with your praise. Jesus, that great name, 
Jesus. Jesus. We lift them up, Jesus.
That's it, come on. That's it, he loves it. He loves it. Oh, Father, we thank you for your goodness and your kindness and your faithfulness. Father, we thank you.
17 years. He didn't bring you this far to leave you. He didn't bring you this far to leave you. Oh, shut up. He didn't bring you this far to leave you. And he never will. 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 He's a dependable God. He's a dependable God. And your mercy toward us. That's how we offer. We offer. To him, offer your praise to him, offer your praise to him, offer your praise to him. Thank you for 
That's why we're still standing. That's why we're still standing. That's why we're still standing. Yeah, yeah. Away. Hallelujah. 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 Let us give God the praise in here. Let us give the Lord a praise. Let us give the Lord a praise. stood here and, and worship with you. The Lord reminded me, he said, 17 years ago on this day, 25th of August, I ordained you to be the pastor of this church. This exact day, 17 years ago, now, to some of you all, 17 is not a big deal because it's not 20, it's not 25, it's not a milestone uh, number. But if you knew my story, if you only knew how many people said we wasn't going to make it we wouldn't survive. We wouldn't get past the first Sunday. I said it even to myself. We're not going to make it. And each Sunday, I just kept showing up. Whether it was five, whether it was 20, whether it was whatever. I just kept showing up. And then week one turned to week two. Week two turned to week five. Week six turned to week 26. Week 26 turned to year three. Year three turned to year four. And year four turned to year eight. Then year eight turned to year 10. Then year 10 turned to year 13. Then year 13 turned into 16. 16 turned into 17. And I want you to understand something. Today's church wants everything done quick, fast, and in a hurry. And I want my blessing now. But one of the reasons we don't get excited about 17 years and why it was no big deal. It's because we trained ourselves that God must move now. And if God don't move now, then I'm gone. I quit. I'm, I'm no longer believing God, but not realizing the real blessing. It's not so much the blessing itself. It is that you discover over 17 years his grace. You really discover who really has really been with you. You discover really what you're made out of. You discover really what you're not made out of. You discover that you got more get up in you than you got quit in you. And you need to realize you've got more get up in you than you got quit in you. And so I'm excited today, not so much that you all are here. I'm excited that he's here. And I'm excited that I'm still here. And I know in today's church, in today's time, longevity and that, that stuff doesn't matter no more. Just who's the new voice and 
who's the flavor of the month, and then when you're done with that person, you move on to the next person. That's what that's for our society today. It's no longer about the, as Elder Tyree used to say, stick to itness. We don't stick to people. We don't stick to things. We just kind of use people and then we discard them. So we don't know how to celebrate when someone didn't quit. We don't know how to celebrate the hand of the Lord on somebody because we're so busy looking for what we can just get from people. But we never look at the same, man, God's with that person. God's with those people because all the stuff they've been through and here they are. And, and the blessing is not so much this building and, and the land and all that stuff. The blessing is simply being alive in Christ. The blessing is that all the stuff you've seen and all the stuff you've dealt with and all the people that smiled in your face, all the people that said they loved you and all that stuff, you still kept getting up. You kept praising. You kept blessing God. You said you don't want to have nothing to do with God. You go and read a scripture. You, you go and said, I'm, you go and listen to a worship song. There was this, a mustard seed of faith in you that kept you believing tomorrow is a better day. And so today may not be exciting or a big deal to you or to your neighbor, to many, but if you keep living, and just to be able to wake up in the morning and look at your eyes, your eyelids roll back and you look up and you tell the Lord, thank you. With all that's going on, that's the blessing. And so I know we want theatrics during anniversary time. We want cotwheels. We want special guests. We want special singers. But we really miss we still here. And the, the testimony is we're still here, and, and, and despite those that have come, those that have left, those that have done, tried, done the sabotage to do all this stuff, we're still here. And see, that's no longer, that's no longer exciting anymore. Longevity is no longer exciting. Holiness is no longer exciting. Righteousness is no longer exciting. It's about who has the glitzy stuff, the shiny stuff. But what I loved about the substance of life is that God did all this and nobody can take the credit for what I wish somebody if you as the song says when I look back over my life and I think things over I can truly say that I've been blessed I've got a, here's your problem. Say, here's my problem. You don't talk about your testimony no more. You don't talk about what God has done in your life because you're around folk who don't deal with God like that and you don't want to offend people and you don't want to, you know, because, you know, you don't want to say nothing. But let me tell you something about it. See, when the church gets a shame of its testimony, you're no longer the church. It's the testimony that draws people to the Lord. It's the testimony that says, man, what is that y'all have? How did y'all get through this? And how did y'all get through that? Do you have a moment? I want to share my testimony. I know you see the smile. I know you see the car. I know you see the house. I know you see everything looks nice in my life. But let me share the raggedy years. Let me share with you the hoop the years. Let me share with you the foreclosure years. Let me share with you the bankruptcy years. And see, we don't have those kind of testimonies because we don't want people in our business. But you're not in foreclosure. You're in a new home now. You, 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 you're not sick. You're healed now. And your marriage is better than it was then. So it's not about sharing your business. It's about sharing your testimony. And the only reason you hear this long, because the Lord tested you.
Lord says, in order for me to trust you, I got to test you. Oh, what do you, what do you mean by that? And for me to trust you, I got to test you. And I got to see if you can handle what I'm doing in your life and not build a monument to it that you did it. Say, God did this. And one day soon, hear me when I say, all you're going to have is a testimony to share. We're trying to ignore that the world is changing and act like it's the Lord is going to send you out to deal with people that have lost hope. And he's not going to send you anywhere that you have not even have, you don't even have the hope in yourself. You don't have the time to tell people, come to my church. You only have time to say, come to my hope. Let me share with you the hope of Jesus Christ so that where you are today, you'll know you won't be there tomorrow. You have to carry the gospel of the good news of Jesus Christ, and you got to carry the gospel that there is hope. And the thing is, we're not even excited about hope anymore. The church isn't excited about things anymore. We just want the blessing, the prophecy. We want someone to tell us our business and tell us we're getting a house and all those kind of things. But you know what I want the most that I always ask God for? Lord, give me peace. Because if I got peace, all this other stuff will fall into place. I, I just want peace. I, I want peace in my life. That's, that's always my prayer. Lord, I just want peace every day. I want more peace and more peace. And then this is what I learned. I learned the, the more I got more peace by dealing with more problems. The Lord said, you asked me for peace, right? I said, I sure did. Well, then here's some problems. Here's some things that's going to challenge you. Here are some storms. And I want to see, are you going to jump ship or are you going to walk the water? Some, somebody got to catch that. In order to have more peace, I have to be able to walk on water of situations that came to rob me of peace. And I'm not preaching to you today. There's a preacher coming. But I wanted to say something to you. I didn't get here by running from storms. I got here by simply seeing that it wasn't going to go around me. It wasn't going to go above me. It wasn't going to go under me. So I had to make a decision that I'm going to walk on it. And I'm going to keep my focus on God while I walk on this storm. And if you want to know the secret, I kept my focus on God and I walked on the water. I kept my focus on God and I walked on the water. I kept my focus on God and I walked on the water. I kept my focus on God and I walked on, I kept my focus on God and I walked on the water. I, I know y'all don't, that, that stuff don't excite us no more because you want the storms to go away. Baby, they don't go away. You're going to have to learn how to walk or drown. You either you got to learn how to walk or you're going to drown. Either you're going to walk or you're going to drown. You're either going to walk or you're going to drown. But the storms don't go away. Tell somebody you sit next to a water walker. And so that's what we're gonna do. I'm just feel I'm just trying to flow with God. I want you to be encouraged. And I want you to get your feet wet. I want you to be encouraged. I don't want you to get your feet wet. Joshua had to step into it at flood stages. And Peter had to walk on it at storm stages. So you can't avoid floods nor storms. 
You're either going to step in it or you're going to walk on it. So you got to make a decision today. Because I can sit in and declare a decree that storm will be sitting at your house. So don't, 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 don't abuse my authority to move something that God has sent to see if you're going to focus on the storm or you're going to focus on him. And in 17 years, I've seen a lot of hurricanes. And I got wet, but I didn't drown. And you need to be excited. You got wet, but you didn't drown. You got wet, but you didn't drown. Somebody got to catch that. You got wet, but you didn't drown. It's okay. If your hair got a little wet, it's okay. If your eyelashes got a little wet, it's okay. If you got wet, baby, you did not drown. And you need to be able to give God praise for that. That you didn't drown. That you didn't drown. That you didn't drown. Tell somebody, I'm still here. I didn't drown. 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 So I want you to do me a favor. I need some stone walking. I need some stone walking music. I don't want to hear no quartet. And I want to hear. I want to hear some. I want us to take a moment that you're not here to celebrate me. Some of y'all didn't even know today's my 17th anniversary. It is. And so, I need you to take a moment. Where's my music? Y'all can't hear us? You can't hear? Y'all need me to lay hands on your ears or something? No. I need us. To get with somebody and say, listen, I got wet, you got wet, but we didn't drown. And so in this new season of our lives, we're going to walk on this water. In this new season of our lives, we're going to walk on this water. In this new season of our life, we're going to walk on this water. You ain't seen nothing yet. In this new season, we're going to walk on this water. In this new season, we're going to walk on this water. In this new season, we're going to walk on this water. I just, I need you to find somebody that'll walk with you. I need you to find, come on, let's walk. And I need y'all to come on and, and get in this thing. Come, come on, come, I need something. I need a sound, not just, I need. A... Now listen, if y'all going to walk like y'all crippled and go back to your seat, but you need to walk like you know. Start praising where you are. Just start praising. Come on and start praising. Keep walking, but start praising. You got to learn how to walk and praise. Don't slow the line up. Come on and keep walking. Keep walking. Keep him under Sunday. Conda Monday. Sing. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come, 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 come.
Now, when you get back to your seat, start praising them like you done lost your mind. Oh, come on and praise them. 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 Come on and praise I need to do something. I need to. Because um, I'm trying to find that spot with God and we just can't get there. It is something I know the Lord wants to break in your lives. Because 17 represents victory. And you, you're okay, but your, labor, your neighbor is sick of losing. So there has to be a breakthrough of great victories to come in your life. But I can't send you someplace you don't want to go. And so we're going to move. And what God ordained, I feel so restrained right now. I feel almost vexed because I know there's something that God wants to do but we're watching and hoping God to do it and not necessarily say if, if, if I put a million dollars in a glass case and say all you got to do is break that you would find anything heavy to break open that glass to get it sometimes you got to find something heavy to break free and break into what God has for you because you got to pay attention to the opposition that you're facing. It must be something profoundly great on the other side that needs to happen for you. And maybe not. And so I need to do something my uh, apostle, Misty Holmes Dorsey, is coming forth in a moment. We're going to receive the offering in a minute. Uh, but the Lord is shifting some things. And yesterday when we was at the beach, the wind kept blame, blowing hard. Hardest we've ever seen at the, at the beach. And, and so I, I said we, we're in a new now. 
And so I sent, my wife sent some footage to Apostle, uh, to Bishop Pierman, Kenneth Pierman in uh, Pennsylvania to let us know he's the one that taught us how to do the beach prayer. And he says, there's a fresh wind that's blowing on you and the ministry and things are going to shift and change. But here's something I've learned about that. We're comfortable about hearing what we're going to get. But we won't do what we need to do to go get it ourselves. So you already have wind in you. And so God wants to take his wind, couple it up with your wind, and bring you into supernatural wind. And how do I know I have wind? Let everything that has And so, Apostle Misty Holmes Dorsey, she's about to come minister in a moment. She and some others here are a part of something I have called Embassy Global Alliance, where I cover their churches. I'm their apostle, and I help them to build. And I'm a spiritual covering for them. And so, it's a movement that we've begun, them and the The Thomases are here, and uh, First Lady Black from the churches that I cover, representing, and I'm going to ask her to be a part of my, to be my presider. What does that mean? Is that I'm going to install her to be my assistant in the movement so we can reach more people and help more churches, and she has churches. See, this is what you don't know. She has churches in Africa. And in Africa, I'm known as Papa. They know that that's, that's our bishop right there. He covers her and he covers us. So there's people in Africa that I cover that I have never met yet. But yet they're praying for us and praying for this church. Is not God amazing? And so I'm going to ask her to come and stand here. I'm going to install her today. And then I'm going to cut her loose on you and let her see. I want you to receive my daughter, Apostle Misty Holmes Dorsey. I'm supposed to go through this whole ceremony, but I'm not doing all of that. I'm just going to do what the Holy Ghost tell me to do. Janine, overseer, come on up here. This amazing woman of God and her husband have come alongside me to help me and to help me build. I'm always making sure. There you go. And I'm here to install her as my assistant presider. I Where are the other EGA churches? Y'all come up here and stand too. There's a whole ceremony for this, but we're just going to do the kingdom ceremony, the, 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 the abbreviated one. I am so proud of you. And it's an honor and a privilege to cover you both and to cover your churches and to cover your ministry and to walk alongside with you. And so, Mildred Thomas, y'all come over here. There you go. Kathy, stand right there. And so, if a pastor is fortunate enough in his or her time to have three sons, they've done something special. It is rare to find integral people that have a mantle of truth, their righteousness, they love holiness, they can trust what they say, 
They're there with you in the late and the midnight hour. They're just flat out good people. It is hard to find sons in an orphan world. We live in an orphan world and people love being an orphan more than they want to be a son, but they want son privileges. When you came to me, I didn't want to be bothered. I didn't want to cover nobody because I'd already been burnt by two other people. So my heart shut off towards you. And the Lord, the Lord himself came to me about you. And even then I was hesitant. I said, Lord, these people are crazy out here. I'm, they, they crazy. I'd rather stay to myself. He says, no, I've sent her. She's one of mine. And so even then I was reluctant because I'm, I'm human. But I will always do what the Lord tells me to do. What's my wife? Well, sweetie, come on up here. And so the Lord told me about this months ago, but I, I didn't do it because I'm human. And sometimes you just don't want to go through the stuff and you just don't. I've seen what too many people have gone through. But I, the Lord said, you trust me. I said, I sure enough do. He says, I've sent her. She's going to do right by you. And the movement will grow because you're putting processes and right materials in place. When you build right, unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain. And so we're building, we're putting things in place so that we can help each other and cover each other and make sure the churches get the things you need. And that takes structure, infrastructure. It takes administration, prayers and fasting. It takes someone that can handle business, someone that can echo the vision and not try to create a movement within the movement. We got a lot of that going on. A lot of opportunist a lot of orphans, but very few sons. And so today, I, I call you, I know you're a daughter, but I call you son. Because that's not gender specific, specific, but it is a function, it's a relationship. And so I'm going to anoint you and lay hands on you that the movement that God put in me will now be upon you too. And that the grace of God, the grace that he's given you because you're a sign of my apostleship. You're blessing me even right now that I get to stand here and do this. After all these years, I thought I would never really have folk in my life like that. I've been blessed with some good people, don't get me wrong. But to get to this place, I didn't think that was going to ever happen for me because I didn't think my voice mattered in the world. But blessed be unto God. And so I'm going to pray for you and lay hands on you. And I will believe a transfer will happen upon you and it's going to go to you and you and the anointing of the Lord for this movement for this time in history it's going to rest upon you and you will do greater things and I'm going to give you my life I'm going to pour my life into you I'm going to pour my life and my plans into you and you will have my DNA. And you will do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you could ever ask or think according to the power that worketh in you. Now from this place, the spirit of sonship will rest upon you and in you. But it's also going to spread.
Yemando soli krabatun saba. Can you all pray? Can the elders assemble right here? Quick, 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 and start praying. Stay right there now. Start praying. Start praying. Start praying. Start praying. Start praying. Y'all stand. Y'all stand right. Stand with Kathy. Y'all stand with Kathy. And y'all, y'all connect. 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 Y'all connect. Connect. Now rest your hands on Janine's shoulder. There you go. Because what's about to come? Himando so. Himando so. Rokusa bande se. Now I'm about to lay hands on you. Ramondo so. You, the Lord will triple your efforts. Resources will come that what was going to take years is going to manifest in days. Himando so that when you return home, the city will be open to you. Himando see, and the region will cough up its treasure, and many will come. The camels are coming to you, and they're loaded with treasures and resources for you, for the ministry, and for your legacy. What's going to rest on you? It's going to rest on them. It's going to rest on them. So I need y'all to prepare. Yemando so rokosie. With the little bit of time I have right here, there's a spirit of sonship resting in this house for people to be connected to their father. This adjoining needs to take place to come out of that orphan living, to come out of that place of disconnect that you've never received the love of the father. 
there's at least three people that are ready to receive that true spirit of sonship. Not so much what you're connected to me, but you're connected to the Father. And that you begin to move. Whoever, just move quickly. If that whoever that is, just at least three. Rambando so tamande ko. Ramando si hete kos. Ramanando
Come on and give God praise in this house. Come on and give God praise in this house. We record not in she, but come Sabandi Kusi. Yenanamando so. You are not fatherless. You are not motherless. May the spirit of sonship be poured into your hearts that you cry out, Abba Father, Rokomanda Sandeko, Yinamande Se, Le Ravatun Saban, Romano do So, Hikomando Se, Ramanando Sukumanda Sa. I call for the spirit of orphan to be broken off of your life right now. Roko Sande Kap, Romamambo Sande, that you come into adoption him under sunday cope come into the spirit of adoption in the name of jesus ramananda sunday cope stay in the vein romama sunday cope romamanda sa or there's a chain breaking anointing in this house roma sunday cope you are not fatherless you are not motherless you are not without family God has connected you. Rama Sande Kosie, Rama Sanda Kusa Bande, Roo Sae, Hananda Bando Ko, Mamma Sande Kande Su, Rababosi. I want you to tell somebody you're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not an orphan. Hatom Bando Si, Rababosu. Oh, I wish I had somebody that'll pray with me. Hey, my day you go. Come on. You're not an orphan, ha! Huh? You're not an orphan, you're a son. You're a son of the Most High. You're a son of the Most High. You're a son of the Most High. Hey, my son, they go. Roma, my, 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 hey. Yes, yes, ha! It's time for the sons to arise. Hey, now, Bosi. Rama, mando, so, Raman, Dioko. I don't care if you're an usher or a greeter. If this is for you, get to this altar. Hey, my son. And just start praising. There's a chain. Huh? There's some things being broken. Rama Sande. Receive sonship. Receive sonship. Rama Sande. Come on into the kingdom. Come into the kingdom. Rama Mama Mama Sande. You are not fatherless. You are not motherless. Hey, my son. I speak healing to your heart. Healing to your spirit, healing to your soul, healing to your mind, healing to your life, healing to your destiny, healing to your purpose. In the name of Jesus, you will not drag around that any longer. Today, whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Rama mama Sunday go, Rama mama Sunday go, Rama mama Sunday go, Rama mama go, Rama mama mama Sunday go, Rama 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 mama mama Sunday go, Rama Rama mama nana son, Rama mama son, who say Rama mama nana son, who my son they go, who my son they go, Rama mama son they go, who say Rama mama mama, hey Rama mama son they go, hey no man na hey, come on here, come on here, come on here, lose some heart, come on into the sonship. Come on into this 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 sonship. Rama mama mama here. Rama mama here. Who's someone that Sunday go? Rama mama Sunday go. Who's sick? Rama mama Sunday go. Hey, come on into this sonship. Come on into this sonship. Come on into this sonship. Rama mama mama. Rama mama Sunday so. No more orphan, no more orphan, no more orphan. Rama Mama Sunday Co. Who say, who say, Rama Mama Sun, Rama Mama Sunday Co. Heal his heart. 
That you will cry out, Abba Father, in the name of Jesus. I am the Lord thy God. I am the breaker. I am freedom. I am deliverance. I am breakthrough. I am healing. I am resurrection. I am the Father. I am 
the Son. I am the Holy Ghost. Fresh wind. Fresh wind. Fresh wind. Fresh wind. Fresh wind. Fresh wind. I breathe upon you. I breathe upon you. I breathe upon you. I breathe upon you. I come to cripple your enemies. I come to cripple your enemies. I come to trouble that trouble. Bruce Hill. I come to trouble that troubles. I come to trouble that troubles. Whoever's been troubling you, I'm troubling them. I come to trouble that troubles. I come to trouble that troubles. It won't work. It won't work. It won't work. It won't work. No weapon. No weapon. to get you shall prosper. It won't work. I'm gonna trouble their troubles. They should have left you alone. But I'm going to trouble their troubles. Fear not, for the Lord is with you. You've been faithful. You've been faithful. You've been faithful. Come here. Come, 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 here. come here. You've been faithful. Hey, my mom, my son. You've been faithful. You've been faithful. You've been faithful. The Lord says, I'm going to trouble their troubles. I'm going to trouble their troubles. You're a son. You shouldn't have messed with the son. Because when you mess with the son, you don't mess with the father. And I'm coming to trouble the troubles. 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 Receive the news. Case closed. Rabbi Sunday. Yeah. 
things. One, Holy Spirit gave me an inspirational thought just now. He says, I want y'all to start to record these sounds, this chant. So every time someone goes somewhere, they can download an experience that they can tap and let it be raw like it was. Don't mess with it. And then number two, let me help you understand something. Some of y'all don't get this. There are times when the word has to be taught and there's times when the word has to be experienced. And we've trained ourselves so much to be taught, but we no longer expect the experience. And it's the experience that heals. It's the experience that brings transformation. They loved when he taught, when he was teaching the Beatitudes in the kingdom. That was great. But then there was time he just had to demonstrate what he taught. So you're going to see more experience. I know some of y'all saying they're like, Why he gonna, when he going to preach? The Lord been preaching the whole time. Now, if you ignore it because you were looking for something else, then you'll miss that what in, can happen in a moment can solve the next 100 years. Of... Y'all miss it. You don't have to keep going from Sunday to Sunday hoping God does something. God can shift and move in a moment and it will solve the next 25 to 100 years for you so that your children's children don't have to deal with this. So what you're experiencing today is going to solve a problem for those 100 years from now. I told you, you got to walk on the water. You got to walk through the storms. You, you got to be able to step into this thing and, and so that the foes that come behind you won't have to deal with what you're dealing with today. We get to deal and experience God like this because there was something that happened at Pentecost. Then there was something that happened at Azusa Street. And Azusa Street was over 100 years ago. God is going to begin to do things in the church that will bring changes in how you experience him for the next 100 years. You won't be here, but you'll be here. Say it's been solved today. I want you to, now whatever goes between A and Z, no matter how big or small, it's been solved today. Oh, I wish somebody would believe that. But the next one will live. The Lord says the next one, hey, Mandosi shall live. Him anando so kosi. And it will go full term. Because something got solved today. Curses got broken today. Premature death got broken today. You won't need surgery because you got healed today. Hey, somebody better catch that thing. Rusa Konde. I saw depression run out of here with his tail between his legs. I saw anxiety run out of here with his tail between his legs. It's got to go. It's got to go. Here 
Come on, Nando. Come up here on your own. Come up here. You just don't know. Remando. Remando. Robo. See. Le. Robo. See. Tell somebody something got solved today. And whatever was troubling me, God has troubled it. Oh, somebody better say that. Because you've been getting troubled by stuff in the past. But the Lord says, I've troubled the past. And I've given you a new now. And your past shall not follow you any longer. I've severed the head of it. And I've sent it back to where it came from. They should have left you alone when they had the chance. But you're a son. You're in covenant. You're under the commonwealth of the kingdom of God. You are off limits. Judgment has been sent out. And witchcraft has been broken. Say something happened today. Can someone just give a holy holler right now? something to you that you never forget. I don't care what the enemy throws and I don't care how hard it felt in the beginning. Felt like we couldn't get to that place. But there's sometimes the Lord will hide himself for a moment just to see how bad do you want to get to him. And we wanted him bad today. But when he breaks through Oh, so is that Tangy? Girl. My girl. But when he breaks through, say when God breaks through, he breaks it up. So it can't come back together. Oh, somebody can. He didn't just break through it. He broke that thing up. Because the word of God is like a hammer. The word of God is a hammer. And when the word go forth, he smashes. Timbandusi. Rusombando Sunday. Tande kondambanda Sunday. He will prophesy. Yindombando Sunday ko. Rengona. This will be a house of prophets. Tunda Sunday ko. Banda Sunday he. Yeah, banda sa. Y'all will pray. And prophesy. Bundy. Watch this. I'm done. When you get to a spiritual brick wall, push anyway. 
because once the anointing was released the anointing says I'll take it from here and sometimes you have to tarry for a moment and get frustrated because you know there's more the Lord will let you get frustrated just to say there's more to this church thing than just you attending and putting your money in the plate it's the things that will change your next 100 years I keep hearing that in my mind that there's something happening that's going to change your next 100 years there's some wealth that's coming it's your time to move into real wealth it's going to start with you and it's going to carry out through your bloodline it's going to start with you and it's going to carry out through your bloodline it's going to start with you and it's going to carry out through your bloodline get ready get get ready get ready get ready Get ready, get, get ready, get ready, get, 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 get ready. Come on, and so. Listen. Stay in the vein. Stay in the vein. I got to record this stuff. But there's a sound that's going to be global. And he's going to use you in your rawness. 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 Cracked voices, tired voices weary voices but God says I'm going to use you in your rawness I want the raw stuff I don't want it mixed in a studio I don't want a fancy producer I want it raw like I like it I want to do a sin. I want it to come up recosa out of your belly Romananda I want it to come fresh out of your belly out of your belly out of your belly out of your belly out of your belly, out of your belly. Him on the sun, out of your belly, out of your belly, out of your belly. Him on the sun, the band, out of your belly there will be a sound, out of your belly. Him on the sun. Stay, stay on beat, stay on beat. Stay right there. Wendy Ann, stay right there. Lift your hands. Now watch this. Lord says, what you were praying for was a way, but in the next moment, it's coming down to you. So I'm gonna take these three steps down to you to bring you prayers and answers to prayers. I don't know what they are, but the Lord says, I want you to descend upon her because I'm about to hover over her. I'm about to come upon her like she's never known before. And I just need Wendy Ann to just start worshiping. I need Wendy Ann to just start praising because your praise draws God. Your worship draws God. So the Lord says, I heard you a long time ago, but today I'm going to descend. I'm going to bring it right to you because you've been praying and you've been asking and you've been faithful. Now, there's some folk watching, but if I was them, I'd be praising too. Because as the Lord begins to descend for you, he's going to descend. Him andando so. Yeah, come on, come on, we're almost about to go, come on. I would come by my night Sunday court. Come on, come on, we're gonna draw him. We're gonna draw him. The old school says when the praises go up, the blessings come down. Something is about to come down. 
There's a cloud about to rest on you. Rosandeko, Rama Sandeko, Banda Sandeko, Rico Sandama, Ban Santioko, Banda Yo Rama Sande, Puba Mama Mama. Let the cloud of the Lord descend on us. Let the cloud of the Lord Hema Hema Sandeko. Let the cloud of the Lord descend. 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 Let the cloud. going to descend upon you in a moment but every time you dance and wave those flags you're going to be praying in the spirit there's a sound they're not just going to see y'all they're going to hear y'all hemanando so hemanando si romanando sa rakatun saba rigaru husu regomando si Rakatavano so, Rekatanda si, Ramanundo sondiku, Rikumbando sande, Rabababa sandeku, Hanana namanda sa, Yababa sandeku, Yababa mama sandeku, Rabababa sande, Yababa sa. Cloud of the Lord, descend. Cloud of the Lord, descend. Mama mando so hey send up oku Say Lord Say Lord rest on me rest in me I need an indwelling and an outpouring of the Holy Ghost. Now watch this. Let me say this. I know you got something. I know there's a word in you. You ain't got no word to pray. I find that highly. Listen. Come in here looking for God like this next week. He says that was last week. Come in here looking for a bigger cloud. The bigger the cloud, the heavier the rain. Because my clouds are loaded and I'm ready to pour out. And I'm going to water on every seed that you sown from when you was a child. Hear by nothing. The Lord says, I keep good records, and I'm going to rain over every seed that you sown as a child. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself for every seed you sown. I'm going to rain on it, even the seeds you forgot. Even the seeds you sown in the folk and to people in the places. You did it because I told you, not because of them. I'm going to rain on seeds. Hey, bam, bam. Ramamama Sunday ko. Ramamama Sunday. Ramamama nana Sunday ko. Hey, bamamama Sunday ko. I 
Watson. I don't know how y'all gonna record it, but that's a top priority. You might have to stay after service and just, just slap it, make it raw. Tangent, just because this is what you understand about God. Just because you leave home don't mean home left you. I want you to catch that. That's what I love about the kingdom. That there's times we have to take journeys for us to find out really what God is to us. Not so much what I take, but who is God to you. And when we get that personal bulb go off it changes the trajectory of your life I want you to notice that today the Lord has changed the trajectory of your life simply because you came home and your place in the house nobody could take because a son is a son And let me say this to y'all that are watching that have left. Don't you let pride and shame keep you home. If this your home, get to your home. We've got work to do. Get the enemy out of your ear. Get the enemy out of your heart and your spirit telling you you don't belong. And that it's too late and we're not going to love you. Get home. Get home. Come off all that stuff, those feelings, and come home and stop letting the enemy play Jedi mind tricks on you. Get home where you're planted and where you belong. We're waiting on you because the father was sitting there waiting on the prodigal son to come across that hill. I'm waiting on you. Oh, we're going to give God praise. I can stay in here all day in this presence. Watch this. You, you the last example for the day. You was going back to your seat, but the Lord said, now stand in her way. Not to block you, but to bless you. We're so used to being blocked that we don't recognize when a blessing is standing in front of us. So you was going to go around me, but the Lord says, now move and get in front of her because I'm trying to bless her. So then you went that way. He says, now stand in front of her. You're not blocking, you're blessing. Hibando Sambo. Woo! What was a block is now a blessing. What was blocking you is now a blessing. What was blocking you is now a blessing. week Bishop Thornton ministered that we were not going to leave here same way we came in that's not for a Sunday that's lifetime every time you experience the presence of God who this girl Giorgio who this girl what you need That's a big. Okay, we're crazy now.
He said, it's the first time being in church in a long time. It's a culture shock. You know why it's a culture shock? Because this is the real culture. You're supposed to be healed. You're not just supposed to hear something. God wants to come into your life and transform your life. Have you ever been filled with the Holy Ghost? Have you experienced anything like this before? Would you like to receive the Holy Ghost? So you want you you want prayer? Yeah, I know it's a lot in it. And there's a lot of black people in here too. And they running and rolling and skipping and got flags in their hands. And we got a policeman out there and he's Caucasian and we got Caucasian. It's a lot going on in here. It's all kingdom though. All welcome here. So come hither. Come here. Take a deep breath. All these folk praying, don't look at them. Let me tell you something. When I went off to college, I went to a historical black college, Jackson State University. And I've been mostly around predominantly Caucasian environments. And so when I went there, it was a culture shock because I'd never seen that many African Americans all my life. And I had to adjust to their culture if I wanted that education. And sometimes God puts us in a strange culture, different culture so we can get the thing that we've been praying for. Yeah. It's not in the norm. It ain't always in the normal. It's in the abnormal. It's in what's something that's different because you got different prayers because you got a different purpose. Ooh, you got some good stuff in you and you got some great dreams and you got some amazing abilities and you just need one opportunity and that one opportunity will open up a lot of things for you, but it will also eliminate a lot of pressure off of your life. So my prayer is that you come across the right moment that will pew. Now even as I'm plucking these things off of you, they're literally leaving your life. Now let me pluck the stuff off of your mind. All them thoughts, all them stuff them family members said, stuff that fake friends said to you that got into your ear. Oh, here we go. Now, Lord, descend upon her right now. Lord, hear her prayers, Lord. Hear my Lord to see. Remove the burdens, Lord. Hear my none. Remove the heavy burdens, Lord. Remove the heavy burdens, Lord. Ha. Remove the heavy burdens, Lord. Make it light for her. 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 Heal the broken heart. 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 Ha! Heal the broken heart. Hey. Heal the broken heart. Heal the broken heart. Heal the broken heart. Hey, by now. Heal the broken heart. 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 Hold a hand. Hold a hand. Hold a hand and sit with her until she's healed. Until she's healed. Get your happiness back. Get your happiness back. Get your spirit back. Get your life back. Get your mind back. Get your peace back. Get your joy 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 back. 
Get your joy back. Get your money back. Get your money back. Get your money back. Get your money back. Get your mind back. Get your health 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 back. Hey. Heal the broken heart. Heal the broken heart. Heal the broken heart. Heal the broken heart. Oh, come on and give God praise. Heal the broken heart. 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 I want you to sing that one more time. That those who have lost loved ones. When you deal with the loss. That grief will take you out. So I'm asking the Lord, even while you were singing it, that the Lord will heal the broken hearts of those who have lost loved ones. And just because you're healed does not mean you will forget them. Just because you're healed does not mean you will forget them. It just means you will remember them in a healthier way. That doesn't cause torment to your soul and to your health. So let's say that one more time. Heal the broken heart. 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 just want to give you some background. The number 17 is not a number that we should take lightly. The number on the 17th day of the seventh month, you have to realize that the ark rested on Mount Arak. It symbolized that it was the end of a flood and it was a new season. So what you've been going through, God said today, mark a new season for you. Also, you have to understand that Jesus' resurrection was also associated with the number 17. He rose from the dead on the 17th day of Nisan, which signifies victory over death. So understand Nisan is the first month on the Jewish calendar. So understand this is your 17th year which marks, amen, completion. It actually 17 also talks about law and order. So yesterday you talked about law. So God in this season is bringing together the law in order to bring forth a complete completion.
permission so that you can cross over into your new season. I'm just here to let you know, amen, that 17th also represents victory overcoming challenges. This is a new season. This is a new day. This is a new year. Hallelujah. I just want to say one thing to you. I looked at Lady Law and I said, if you look at my message, everything I had in my message was demonstrated. Down to the focus, down to the water. <laughs> so it is God, amen, that is bringing the body of Christ into a season of demonstration. This is a season that God is changing us into the new man. He's making another man because the purpose, amen, is being clarified. I just want to tell you what the Lord said. Stay focused and don't get distracted. Hallelujah. you to do me a favor. I want you to smile. It is well. I want you to smile. Just Is that Louisiana? See back there? Is that a young lady from Louisiana that was here last week? Do you know what your spirit name is? It's Regal. Well, it says there's a regal spirit on you. I need you to meet somebody that's regal. You want, you want to meet somebody that's regal? Are you ready to meet somebody regal? I can't, I, I got lights in my eyes, so I, I, I don't know if you're nodding. said, this is about as close as I'm getting. I don't see what's been going on in here today. This is about it. If, it, if, it, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen right where I'm standing. I'm not about to lay hands on you because the cloud of the Lord is going to descend upon you because you've been looking for something. You're looking. It's, the goal is not to fit in. The goal is to stand out amongst people that already stand out. So when you're amongst anointed people, we stand out because the Lord calls us peculiar. So you have a special grace upon you, as we all do, but it's a different regal. There's some things you're called to do, some places you're called to go into, and you need a little help getting through the door. I want to introduce you to the door kicker downer. If you look to your left, you'll see, see that woman over there with them pearls around her neck with that red and black dress on? That's the epitome of regal. That's my wife. That lady right there is going to help you get to places you only dreamed of. Are you ready to go, though? It's going to cost you something. You want to know how much it costs? Your old mind. Now, some people say that's cheap. No, it's hard to give up the old mind when you've built everything off of it. That's why Jesus says, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. In order for you to walk into this, you're going to have to give up that old mind. Now, if you're not ready for that, I understand. 
But I think you really are because you're sick and tired of where you are. And you're ready to see what God, you keep dreaming, but you're ready to walk in that stuff. You don't, okay, like, all right, Lord, I, got, I get all that. When does this happen? <laughs> when you're ready, you're going to go over there to that lady. She's just going to embrace you. Just hug you. And in that moment, you'll know what's coming next for you. But only when you're ready. standing and praying real quick. Come on. Give me 60 seconds of the Holy Ghost. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pray. 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 Can y'all pray? Can y'all pray or y'all just want something for I need some praying people. Give me some praying people. Come on, all the stuff God doing in here, y'all, I would be on fire. I'd be wanting everything. Emandoso. Listen, there's a uh, this this ring I have on my finger represents my apostleship. I don't wear it often. And it sits in a box. But sometimes when I don't wear it, I don't use it. It gets a little tarnished. And so when I pull it out, it needs to be polished up a little bit for presentation. And there's so much purpose in you that's been in a box that the Lord wants to bring out, but it's tarnished. So what you're going through right now is a polishing. Some of y'all are getting polished to be presented. You're being polished to be worn. You're being polished to shine. You've been in a box. You haven't been used often. Hadn't got to do a lot of stuff. They don't call on you much. They don't recognize your gift, so you put yourself in a box. But the Lord says, I'm bringing you out today, and I'm going to buff you. I'm going to shine you. So it feels the rubbing can be a little hard, but because I want the shine to be deep, that he sees himself when he looks at you. Say, Lord, rub me up. Make me shine. I'm ready to be presented. Give God praise for that real quick. Listen. Listen. We're going to receive our offering. And we're going to do it quickly, but we're going to do it strong. It's been a long two weeks. We were dealt with floods, storms. We fed families. We done did breach prayer, laws of marriage, training with Bishop Thornton. These last two weekends have been extremely but they've been amazing. And today we're sowing. I know it's the anniversary and all that kind of stuff. And, but I'm asking you to dig deeper, make a stretch, and to sow. That girl is prosperous. 
That young lady right there is very prosperous. Got go, go. Bruce. Now slide over a little bit. Put your down, slide over a little bit so I can see them. I want you, as you're preparing your seed, this is no tricks or nothing. I want you to sow what is worth to you. Some people can sow five to hundred today. Some can sow a thousand. Some can sow five dollars. Just sow from your heart. Sow from your love. And those at home that are watching, you can sow. We need you to sow into this own opportunity also. I really believe some things have to move and break open for you. Because of the things that are coming, you're going to need distribution of resources. You know that young lady? Who is she? That's your friend. That's your best friend. You've been praying for her. You've been praying for her. Don't it feel good when the Lord move on the prayer? You don't know how many people in your corner, daughter. A lot more than you think because you're just that special. And watch this. You was real special back in the day until something happened. And the Lord says, guess what? You are even the more special now that I brought you out of it. I want you to know, man may have taken you through it, but God has brought you out of it. And I command you to shine again. Rise, shine, for that light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Rabamanda Sunday go. Rusa, rise again. Shine again. Rabamanda Sun. Come out of the rubble and stand and be who you are. Deliverance is yours. Come on and bring that offering. Come on and bring that offering. Come, 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 come. Come, come. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. come. church we used to have you know a little testimony service and we really don't have it here but when I got here I was on cigarettes I was smoking weed I didn't I was working a job that I hated I, I wasn't in school Bishop pulled me out of the um out of the audience one day and said you're gonna be a nurse I'm taking my last four classes before I get into nursing school um no longer smoking no longer have a desire to do those things. There's still things that God has to deliver me from. But I just want to say that when I got here, Apostle told me, we want you just like you are. And I didn't feel like I was good enough. I, I never felt like through all the things I've done, like he said, your past, it holds you back and it makes you feel like you're just not worthy. And even in the day, it's things that the devil might try to play with my mind and say, you still do, you still got this going on. But I keep coming, I keep showing up. And every Sunday, I keep seeing a reason why he chose me. So I just want to say that I just love everyone here. My mom is Minister Black, <laughs> First Lady Black. But I don't come here for my mom. I come here for God's word. I come here because he has delivered me from things. And I trust that he's going to deliver people around me from things. I just know that I have something in me. And I love my apostle. I love my First Lady. I love my leaders here. I love all of you. I'm kind of quiet and I sit. I, I, I speak and I go home, but I've been trying to be more active because I know that God has something. And I just wanted to say that that's my testimony. I just thank God for delivering me. Now, 
going to start to have more testimonies because the Lord is, you're in demonstration realm. And anytime you come into the demonstration realm of God, it don't take years. You don't have years. I don't have years. So I want you to expect demonstration. What, tell me your name. I, the Lord wants to, what's your name? Yeah, I've been talking to you the whole time. You've been, tell me your name. Portia. Like the car? Fast? Accelerated? Expensive? Not everyone can afford it. I want you to expect your life to pick up speed again. I speak acceleration. Zero to 60 in less than four seconds. I'm declaring that the speed of God come back to your life in the name of Jesus Christ that you will accelerate and do not be afraid of the heights where God is taking you. The Lord is with you wherever you go. Him, I'm a room, 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 room. Room, 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 room. Come on and bless the name of the Lord and stand to your feet and bless the Lord with me. Stand to your feet and bless the Lord with me. Stand to your feet and bless the Lord with me. Stand to your feet and bless the Lord with me. Come on, y'all. Before we escape this moment, I want you just to begin to lift a praise, but wait for I tell you what it's for. Because today we stand and celebrate 17 years of pastoral and apostolic leadership ordained by God. And for those that are connected to it and that have been blessed by it, I just want you to release a sound that's exemplified of everything that God has done through your life as you were connected to this house. Now, I want you to release that praise on three, amen, for our apostle and our first lady, Apostle Kenneth K. Law and Elder Lawanda R. Law. One, two, three. God. We bless God for this house, this amazing experience and encounter we just had with God. But I want to make sure before we leave this place that if there's anyone in here that has never confessed or received Jesus as Lord and Savior, this is a time for you to meet us at the altar. 
If that's you and you've never confessed or received Jesus in your life as Lord and Savior, and at this moment you say, today, God, you've blessed me in so many ways, I don't know how to explain it, but today I want to come to you. Today I want to receive you. If that's you, we want you to meet us down here at the altar, and if that's you watching online, I want you to say something in the comments because today the Lord Jesus has extended his hand towards you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, we set an atmosphere. Before you even come, just know we celebrate you. We're willing to walk with you. So if you need somebody to walk with you, you say, today, God, I know I need to come, but I just don't know if I can do it by myself. You are not alone. If you lift your hand, somebody will walk with you down here to this altar to make sure that you enter into the kingdom. And if there be anybody in here that does not have a church home, you're not connected anywhere. But you said today, God, this house, this place of worship, I believe you called me to this place. I believe that there's a place for me in my family. If that's you and you're not connected anywhere, I invite you into the Embassy Church in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, Embassy Church, let's give them some praise because until they come, we want them to know they're welcome into the house. And if there be anybody in here before we leave, I love this call because a lot of us have fallen away. It's not that we don't know God, but we're too ashamed to come back to him. But we bless God that he would leave the 99 to come after the one and that he is married to the backslider. There's nothing you could do to escape the love of God. If you've confessed before, but you say, today, God, I need to recommit my life to you. I need to come back to you. And God, I was ashamed before, but something about this moment is saying, I am free, that God loves me. He desires to have me back. If that's you, I want you to meet us down here at this altar so we can pray with you. There we go, embassy family. There's no shame in the gospel. There's no shame in the gospel. If you're ready to come back, I want you to come now. I don't want you to get to your car and begin to contemplate on whether or not you're saved. I don't want you to get to your car and miss everything that God has just poured out. If you're unsure and you just need some... Oh, let's bless... Thank you, Lord. We bless God for hearts coming back. We bless God for hearts coming back. If there be anybody else in here, don't let guilt or shame keep you in your seat. You know if you need to come back into his grace, his back into his arm. If that's you, I want you to meet us down here at this altar. We're here for you. We want to pray with you. We want to make sure that you know God still loves you. He still loves you. Hallelujah. We bless God that the house is covered. We bless God that those that need a home are connected. They're deeply rooted. They're planted in somebody's house so that they can flourish. So at this time, as we prepare to leave this place, but never our Father's presence, I ask that everybody would stand. Hallelujah. Most precious, gracious, and heavenly Father, Father, we give you thanks, we give you honor, and we give you praise for this day. We thank you that you were mindful enough to us, God, to speak to our hearts. So, Father, wherever transformation has taken place, Father, for wherever a shift has happened, we pray a great grace will fall and rest upon your people. Father, let us leave this place forever change. Father, cover us on the highways and the byways. Let there be no incidents, no accidents, no danger or no harm that may come towards us. But, Father, let us be salt and light 
light in the earth, God. Father, as we leave this place, let the word meet us at the house. Let the word meet us at our jobs. Let the word meet us in the communities. Let the word meet our children in the schools. Father, we thank you for continually covering us and keep us. Continue to open our ears so we may hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Father, we bless you for this day with everything in us. We tell you thank you, and we say amen. Now, y'all know I have to say it, 17 years, but we stand behind a vision, and it goes. Say one vision, one church, one embassy, one kingdom, and one family. Say we are the vision. Say we are victorious. Say I will, we will. Follow the king and advance the kingdom. Say, I will. We will. Follow the king and advance the kingdom. You may now leave this place in peace. And may the peace of God be with you. <laughs>